is part 49. This is line 4 of the Alien UFO SETI WOW signal. It's called Line 4 Alien UFO SETI WOW Genomics, Machine Learning, and Mapping. Okay? It was originally started on December 29th, 2011, 9.34 p.m. It is now January the 12th, 10.56 p.m. My thoughts. This leads to equations that relate to deciphering higher forms of data not on planet Earth from alien beings whose technology and intellectual levels far surpass ours here on Earth. In biblical days, they lived to about a thousand years in age. The oxygen levels were much higher, which would, recreate, would create better brain material, and this has been proven by scientific studies. And this is the evidence that I found. Why does exercise improve your cognition? According to Dr. Medina, there's two key reasons. It increases oxygen flow, and this reduces brain-bound free radicals. It increases your neurons creation, survival, and resistance to damage and stress. So I made a statement. You get lots of oxygen, you will be smarter. And then I looked it up to prove it to you. It's on sourcesofinsight.com. Exercise makes you smarter. So just Google exercise makes you smarter and you'll bring it up. As you can see, I'm off again with my little wow theory here. So we've got 1 divided by 11 by 1 here, right? 1, 11, 1, equals 0 0.09090909. <laughs> okay, so Google. So we do a Google of it. See, there's the Google link. And this comes up, multivirate data reduction outer space. So the word multivirate data reduction comes up, so then I add the words outer space, because I want to see what does outer space have to do with multivirate data reduction. And that has a lot to do with the binary code in this thing. Then up comes this, genomics is a discipline in genetics concerning the study of the genomes of organisms. The field includes intensive efforts to determine the entire DNA sequence of organisms and find skeletal genetic mapping efforts. So basically, we're learning from line four is that how to map DNA and that's how you can tell if it's alien or human. Okay, so here's some other other terms that come up. Um, LLE algorithm pseudocode. So it's locally linear embedding LLE homepage. Um, D by N matrix consisting of N data items in T dimensions. Sorry. Next is an introduction to locally linear embedding um, of lower dimensionally. In this paper, we review the LL algorithm and in its most basic form, illustrate a potential application to audiovisual speech synthesis, which I think you would use in a computer, but don't quote me on that. So we have high dimensional data, meaning data that requires more than two or three dimensions to represent can be difficult to interpret. One approach to simplification is to assume that the data of interest lies on an embedded non-linear manifold within the higher dimensional space. If the manifold is of low enough dimension, then the data can be visualized in the low dimension space. So it's almost like I'm getting this message. Okay, you're going to have some higher data. It's from aliens. We are highly intelligent, and this is how you're going to decipher it. That's what I got from it anyways. So, um... On this side here, let's go back over here. LLE algorithm to pseudocode. That's what it looks like. This is a graph I got from uh, cs.nyu.education. Select neighbors, reconstruct with linear weights, and it says map to embedded coordinates. And then it shows you all that. Don't ask me what this is. No idea. Okay, so we compute the k nearest neighbors using Euclid, Euclidean distance. Oh, I get it. Okay, so what they're doing is they're showing you how they calculate the space between stars and planets. That's what that is. Okay, so it input d by n matrix consisting n data. Remember that? It says, okay, so pasted from CSN. You know, so nonlinear methods can be broadly classified in two groups, those that provide a mapping either from the high dimensional space to the low dimensional embedding or vice versa and those that just give a visualization. In the context of machine learning, mapping methods may be viewed as a preliminary feature extraction step after which pattern recognition algorithms are applied. So they're talking about using machine learning. So the machine, you feed the data into the machine, in this case the binary code, and it looks at a pattern with the algorithms and it deciphers it for you. 
Typically those that just give a visualization are based on proximity data, that is distance measurements. So I find it quite interesting that this mathematical equation brings up stuff showing me how um, we here on Earth analyze alien data. So let's go back up to here. So in the context, let's go back up here, sorry. Okay, there's a neat little picture there. It says, top left, a 3D data set of 1,000 points in a spiraling band, aka the Swiss roll, with a rectangular hole in the middle. That's that one. Top right, the original 2D manifold used to generate the 3D data set. Bottom left, 2D recoveries of the manifold respectively using the LLE and the Hessian LLE algorithms as implemented by the Modular Data Processing Toolkit. If you know what that means, let me know. Um, Wikipedia Nonlinear Dimensionality Reduction. Of course, I had to Google it because I didn't know what it meant, right? So it comes up in the context of machine learning. Mapping methods may be viewed as a preliminary feature extraction step. So you use the mapping to extract your data. After which pattern recognitions algorithms are applied, typically those that give a visualization are based on proximity data, that is distance measurements. So you need to take a look at distance measurements. So machine learning. A major focus of machine learning research is to automatically learn to recognize complex patterns and make intelligent decisions based on data. The difficulty lies in the fact that the set of all possible behaviors given all possible inputs is too large to be covered by the set of observed examples, training data. Hence, the learner must generalize from the given examples so as to be able to produce a useful output in few cases. So they're still trying to learn how to um, go through the data. So my thoughts are, here we find an explanation on how raw da binary data is found from aliens, UFO satellites like SETI that pick up various types of radio signals and decipher them. Here's what came up on this search and I've copied and pasted from various blogs on Wikipedia so that I can show you the meanings of some of the words that I did not understand while doing this. Machine learning is used to decipher binary number data such as the pictures made from crop circles. It helps to match things up with historical facts, figures, mathematical equations dating back over 3,000 years ago. In ancient times, such as the Mayas, many crop circles are from their mathematical symbols, deities, and similar cave paintings found in various parts of the world, some being discovered in 2011. And here's my example of a crop circle. The picture on the ground is the 2004 Mayan calendar. It was found in this crop circle made in 2005, Wayland Smithy, near Ashbury, Wiltshire. I think I actually posted that video. Let me just double check for a second here. I know I had something. I put something up here. Isn't that funny? I found some guy's video today. I was looking at crop circles. And there it is. No, that's a strange object. Huh. Oh, I know. Sorry, I put it on my blog here. This is my author's blog, lindarandall.wordpress. There we go. See that? That's a different one. Sorry. This is where I kind of tell you what I'm doing each day on my projects and stuff. That's my author's blog, lindarandall.wordpress.com. So anyways, never mind. I got it wrong here. It just looked, they all look the same, right? So anyways, that's the end of that video, line four. And next we're going to go on to line five.